You know we love you, Gordon Ramsay, so obviously we had to test out your recipe for the most amazing Hot Ones inspired wings. Please let us know how we did. We started with two pounds of chicken drumettes, which we then seasoned with several spoonfuls of garlic powder, making sure to sprinkle it all over the wings. Next up was about a teaspoon of kosher salt, followed by a generous sprinkle of smoked paprika to give the wings a nice richness without adding too much heat. We mixed the chicken wings and seasonings together to get a nice coating, then sprinkled a little more smoked paprika, garlic powder, and salt on top for good measure. Next, we heated about one tablespoon of vegetable oil in an oven-safe skillet over medium-high heat and added our wings, making sure each one had direct contact with the pan. The idea here is to sear the chicken wings and get some lovely color on the outside. We made sure to flip the wings around so all the sides got a nice sear, then gave them a little fancy toss to try to impress Chef Ramsay. Now to cool the pan down a little and also add flavor and richness, we added a couple knobs of butter. Once the butter was melted and a bit of a sauce was forming, we seasoned with freshly cracked black pepper. We followed Ramsay's advice and used the largest grind of pepper by adjusting the knob at the top of our pepper mill. After another fancy toss, it was time to bake these in a preheated 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. When they were done, we transferred the wings to a large bowl, then spooned some of the pan sauce over top. We also added some Frank's Red hot sauce, but you can use whatever your favorite hot sauce is, plus a couple more knobs of butter and another spoonful of pan sauce. We then gave the wings another toss until the butter had melted and a glaze had formed, then transferred to a clean bowl to serve. These tasted great, buttery and spicy with a deep rich flavor. I would definitely recommend trying these, and also congratulations to Chef Ramsay for your record-breaking Hot Ones appearance. We'd love to know how we did with this recipe, and subscribe to DISH for more daily cooking videos.